What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel. Here back at Total War Warhammer. We've kind of taken a little bit of a hiatus from it for a while, but we, uh, not we, I um, just got the uh, Beast Man DLC. Yes, I know it's not the newest thing to have come out, but I just got around to getting it. Uh, with working so much comes Double Edged Sword that I have more money to buy more video game stuff so you folks can see more. But on the downfall, I don't get to work as much. That's why this video is not the newest thing on the block. Um, I'm actually recording it for the four weeks I work, work straight through. Also, I want to apologize if there's any kind of audio thing. Um, I'm trying my mic without my uh, fuzzball around it because I've been noticing on some of the videos there's you pick up the tone of the uh, computer that's near me and I was wondering if the fuzzball it might be a hair inside it with a cat running around um, that might be catching it but today we have three things to look at on the beast man beast beast man beast beast how, how did I pronounce that beast man beast man um, uh, DLC ads. Oh, and I just hit continue campaign. So we are jumping right into it. Um, it adds two different or three different things. Two different things, I guess. It adds that you can play as them in the regular grand campaign. Campaign and actually adds their own campaign that you can play, where you play as them versus the empire. The empire is completely against you, and um, the whole thing is that you, these are dormant man creature hybrids like. Um, minotaurs and goat men and stuff that have been hiding in the dark forest and now that the chaos and war has erupted they have come out to take back their forest from man and that is what this DLC or this uh, their personal campaign um, I forget the name of it right now um, but the main leader here is the uh, Kazark the one eye um, and he is kind of like the grand leader they have their own units, their own building, and they are kind of like the Chaos Warriors in that they cannot own land. They just raise it and destroy it, and they have to keep moving. And it's also like the Greenskins where they have to keep fighting. Otherwise, they'll lose, uh, they'll start taking attrition. So it's uh, it says normal on the description, but I find it very, very, very difficult. I don't know if that's just I'm not used to playing the style. I have much more build-up defenses and wait for the opportune time to strike. I'm not big on the moving war machine to try and destroy things so it might just be me having difficulty with it but it is honestly pretty fun I love that the Warhammer games just keep coming out with more and more stuff um, so that's what we're kinda of looking at here is a different it's like a subsection of the normal map um, that their campaign is on and I've kinda of crushed four little things just on the run right now because I've made a lot of enemies as them because they can't they don't have a diplomatic option um, really, they everyone hates them because they are just there to slaughter. It's, they're a lot like the Chaos um, folks. But if we... I will keep talking as I back up to the main menu. Um, they, as you can see, they're kind of goat people hybrids. And it's, it's just... It adds another option. Let's just go to new campaign. Here it is. An eye for an eye. This is that single player, or the one campaign you see as you play as the Beastmen. Um, it's... It awesome. It's kind of like back in Total War, um, uh, what was that? Total War, shit, Empire at War. That's or no, yeah, Total War, Empire at War, where you could play as the Native Americans and you played as just the United States and just as the Native Americans. It's similar to that, but along with that, during the Grand Campaign, the main kind of thing, you can play as them, um, and they kind of have two different areas they can start off in, um. And they, the you can either play as their faction leader or kind of in the other way, and they have different unit options. Um, but it, I find it very difficult. I would load one, but you don't want. I mean, it won't make any. It's no different. Um, we'll load into a custom battle so you can see kind of what their units look like. I already tried this, so everything should be set up. Um, it, I find it very, very difficult in all, all honesty, but that is not my game style. If your game style is a much more war-oriented, I play these games kind of more for the diplomatic side and the uh, taking gra ground very strategically side, if you've seen any of my other Warhammer videos. So to play as somebody that, or as a group that it has to constantly be moving and constantly be attacking, um, I find it very, very difficult in all honesty. Um, from what I've seen, they are very much a close quarters, uh, kind of like the um, 
green skins in that effect that they are very close quarters that they don't really have any artillery they have these one creatures that'll pick up rock i believe they're giants actually they'll pick up rocks and chuck rocks across the map um but most of their units are close quarters um and or close quarters destroyers um with a few minor cavalry options um but it, it, it they're taking and using that what they introduced in Attila, that kind of um, no man, nomad um, concept, and using it um, more to their advantage. Um, hold on, I have to remember how to rotate the camera. Here we are in the unit setup screen. I often don't play the ba like you know manhandle the battles. Here we'll just rotate. Every Here are kind of their main people, kind of a bland really. Um, they do have mods out that can change that. Um, so that you they have more variety because it does have minor mod support. Here they're giants. I mean, just look at that. I, that's one thing I love about this game. If not a lot of, you have centaurs here. You have minotaurs. Um, kind of a more Greek oriented. These are the folks that throw the giant rocks. Let's get a good look at your beautiful face since I don't remember how to rotate the camera. I mean, just how beautiful and how detailed this game is. I also have the Blood and Gore DLC running. I bought that too for the extra two bucks um, because that's a thing that has to be bought. That's one thing I, I very much disagree with is the fact that that DLC for Blood and Gore has to be bought. Um, gore Bowl, that's just... I believe this is our leader, our fearless leader, the one eye. Just, just detailed. I love this game. Um, I was very skeptical. If It's been a while since I've done a Warhammer ga uh, gameplay, ever since I was messing around with custom battles and stuff. But that's one thing I, I was very skeptical going into this game about it being Warhammer. And I've never played Warhammer, but I've played all the Total War games. So I was very skeptical about it um, being kind of this already established universe and stuff as opposed to historical. And man, it, I just find it fun. And awesome I haven't really messed around with the custom battles of these folks so this will be kind of interesting we'll start it um and just kind of have it and uh, these are the kind of their also kind of spitters these weird little like oh no no uh, these weird little like flood like creatures I don't know what they are or what like the relationship is to the actual chaos spawn so that must be the chaos corruption that the whole kind of game is set on but i just this game has always got me visually see there they're trucking the rocks at the empire here they're they they have a very much hatred for the oh man that just hits fucking hard um for the the man um in the grand campaign and when you started they have a very deep hatred for man for coming into their forest but they also are not opposed to destroying green skins and the vampire cults will send out these kind of hog uh, creatures like I said they don't they're very much close quarters um, infantry kind of units but they do kind of have these oh Jesus Christ <laughs> um, uh, units I just love ah god this game this I just added that um, what I needed was like a kind of a fresh thing to it they also have the DLC out for like the wizards and stuff that I have not picked up yet because um, I am just not that apt at playing with the uh, magic side of this game. And I, I just really don't have the kind of time to devote to this game anymore um, with working as much as I am. Like like you, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is a pre-recorded video um, because I'm working four weeks straight. So I just don't have the, the time and energy to put into you know starting an actual full campaign and learning all these different options. Um, but, it, you know, from the few times I've been playing it this week, messing around with this DLC to get ready for this video, it, it just it definitely breathes, I think, a new life into the game if you play as them. Um, I think if you play as any of the other uh, factions, it won't really affect you as much to play to, that this DLC is out. But I think if you are playing as this new DLC, it definitely breathes new life into it. Um, you know, it, it gives it a new, new thing that you can do, um, and I really love that. Um, I hope they have more planned of this kind of style of, you know, a whole new faction and such. Um, I really, really do hope that that is something they're planning. Um, but yeah, that's, 
the Beast Man DLC. It is out. I believe it was 19.99 on Steam. Um, and the Blood and Gore was 2.99, which we can't really see too much. Uh, let's just zoom in. Yeah, there's you know blood chunks and stuff are being spawned everywhere, and people are getting decimated. Oh, there's our. F just look at these things. Just monster of creatures. It's like the giants from I believe it, is that the Greenskins that had the giants. It is just amazing. I love. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, a little pricey for a DLC in my personal opinion. Um, like twenty bucks for one thing maybe 15 would have been a more reasonable price i know that's only a five percent five dollar difference but you know if you're on a budget five dollars makes a big difference um i'm proud to do it so you guys can get this and judge if one kind of faction and a kind of a new campaign with that faction is kind of what you're looking for um but yeah that's what i have uh that's total war warhammer beast man dlc if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them down in the box um, or hit me up on any of the social medias, or if you have any suggestions for games or DLCs that you'd like to see, um, feel free to also leave that. I love hearing your guys' feedback. And as always, have a great one, guys.